Hey, this is Earl on the Max Pro channel. Quick video. This is part two to Bass Brothers. Uh, part uh, number two with my man Ken right here. What's Maybe up? Got, got done doing a little practicing with, with a band. And uh, there was, I remember we was comparing the uh, 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 the authentic classic, classic music man bass here <laughs> with all these uh, copy bases that I had. And there was a couple that I didn't try with. Uh, so this is part two. Now here's a another stag bass. Now it's a uh, same same kind of like the uh, the other stag bass I had, except with this one, this has the EMG pickup in it. Nice active pickup. Then we're gonna try. Now let's see if this makes a difference. How about it, Ken? Game if you game. You game. <laughs> I already know the results. <laughs> you already. We we're trying to find what the closest. It's got a little different sound now. It's not snappy enough. Slappy? Yeah, I mean, music, plug mine's in. So he forgot what a music man sounds. No, 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 no. There you go. Still on the thing. The authentic music man sound. Music man. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, well, we've got one more challenger. One more challenger to this. Um, you probably, I've, I've done a video on this. Is it was like an oddball uh, bass that I picked up off the internet for about 200 bills, and it's called the Maestro. And I put a preamp in it, and it sounded so beautiful. Now, what we voted the last time in the last video, we said the OLP. Which is made by Music Man, Ernie Ball Music Man, at one time, not anymore, uh, was the closest thing, was the closest thing to this space. Now let's, now let's see if the Maestro is gonna beat it. How about it? We'll see. We'll see. Nah, the Challenger, the Maestro. We're gonna see what the Maestro is gonna do. This is an authentic pickup. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's it's a good pickup. I mean, it's it's not the same as you can tell. It's not the same pickup. Right. Sure. For the for the money, this is not a bad bass. Not bad. Is it closer than the old P? We're gonna find out now. <laughs> we'll plug the old P back up. We'll find out now. 
We'll find out now. Put this over here. Just exchange your bases on. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, y'all. Here is the oil pee. The oil pee. He said in the first part, there's a new music man coming out for what 280. Yes, check one of those out. But this piece off those stag bass, leave that stag alone. <laughs> leave it alone. You don't have the stag people calling me. Oh, sorry. This is the bass to give you don't want if you can't get the music man. The average price of these because uh, they're hard to get now, they're kind of hard to get because you know they're no longer in business. But I've seen them as low as 250, as high as 350. I have went to a music store yesterday. If you go to a used music store, you can probably find one of these. And it was going to average 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Three, 300. Okay. So, uh, I guess the verdict, uh, last video and this video is the same thing. Uh, this is basically... The closest thing you're going to get to this. Right, right. Because this, uh, this is maybe built even better than the Sterling, right? Right. The Sterling show the, the, the woodwork in that. It's a nice smooth neck, the smoothness of the sides, the body, the, you can see the, the lines in the wood, let's say spray painted. Authentic, authentic bridge here. Authentic bridge. So, and it's then, every bit of music, man, except for the price and mm -hmm. uh, you know what it came with it. Remember, this came passive, so I had to put a preamp in it. So, so yeah. Okay, well, we've done it, Kennedy, and uh, you proved your point. So, <laughs> thanks to Kenny for proving his point. This is part two. A two part video. Thank you for man, having me on your show. <laughs> show. <laughs> Produced very cheaply. And a shout out to uh, what's his name? Coop Bass. Coop and Bass. I like your style, man. You have a good sight. 11 Coop Bass. You got a fan here. Oh, yeah. You're a bad mug. <laughs> One day I'll have a Coop on my channel. Well, hopefully. Yeah, right. that'd be cool. That'd be cool. All right. All right. Well, we're, we're getting there. We're getting to know each other every day. So, you know. All right, man. So that's. It for this uh, part two of uh, my bass brothers, got a two parter. So far, you're the only bass brother with a two parter, man. And I made history. <laughs> <laughs> Until next, Bass America. We'll see you later. This is the. Uh